Hey, what's going on guys? It's Migs and Levi here with a quick and fun video for you guys. It's about 3.30 in the morning and we're up and early. Yeah, and today we're gonna show you how to light paint with the Evolve 2. All right guys, so this effect works best when you're working in the dark because we're gonna be using low shutter speeds to get that long exposure photo. So we got Levi over here. He's about to set up with a tripod because it's really important to have a steady camera when you're shooting long exposure photos. All right guys, as Migs mentioned, a tripod is essential to the shot. That's because we need the camera to be totally stable. So I'm just setting up a composition with the lifeguard tower and then we're gonna get the drone in the air to do the light paint. So Levi's getting ready to shoot our first composition. We're gonna set our camera to five second exposure, 5.6 aperture, and we're gonna set our ISO to the lowest setting possible which is 100, so we don't get any artifacts or noise in our photo. All right, we are gonna go with that 5.6 aperture because generally that is one of the sharpest f-stops for most lenses, and it's already hard to focus being that it's pitch blackout, so we're gonna give ourselves the advantage and go with that sharper f-stop. I mean, hopefully, it's, I don't know, actually, who knows, I haven't even uh, thought of like As you guys can see, Levi shot this long exposure at five seconds and we didn't get the streak that we wanted. So in order to get a longer streak or get a circle around of the lifeguard tower, we're gonna try to set our shutter speed to about 10 seconds and see if we can get it. I think we should switch out the LED lights. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. We shot a bunch with the green and blue, so I think we'll switch to, I don't know, like what, maybe orange? Yeah, orange Something and red like might be a fun one. So Levi's gonna show you guys how to switch that out on the ground station. All right, so I'm gonna quickly show you guys one awesome feature of the Evolve 2, which is being able to change the color of the LEDs. This is an awesome creative asset, especially for photo like we are trying to achieve right now. The front LEDs are usually red, but you can change them to any of these colors and even go into this rainbow icon and select anything on the slider. Well, that's a wrap. It's about 5 a.m. and we had a little fun shoot this morning. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned about the customizable LED feature on the Evolve 2. Yeah, let us know what you would use the customizable LED features for down in the comments, what kind of creative content you would create, and we'll see you guys next time. Later. Later.